Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this new Arduino tutorial, we are going to make a calculator using the Arduino board. You could also use the other microcontrollers including the ESP32. You will need an LCD display as well as a keypad matrix that allows you to write the mathematical expression. For example, let's try to use 5 plus 2 and we have the equal sign. As you can see, the result is right. We have 7. Also, we can clear the screen. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button, that helps me a lot. And let's dive right in. To make this calculator project, you're gonna need an Arduino board, like the Arduino Nano, or the ESP32. Also, you're gonna need some sort of display, like the LCD display. This one comes with the I2C module, and we have talked about it. As usual, you will find the project files, including the code, as well as the circuit diagram, from the link under the video description. Here we have another keypad matrix, which allows us to write any kind of number and the mathematical operation. Then we can uh, use the equal sign to check the result, or we can clear the display. The same thing I have talked about the keypad matrix and how to use it. Basically it consists of rows and columns. For me I'm not going to use the first row, that's why we have 8 wires. The left 4 wires represent the rows, and the right ones are the columns. So we need to provide the code with this information. Here we have connected the rows to the pins number 9, 8, 7 and 6. The columns are connected to the pins number 5, 4, 3 and 2. In my case I'm using the Arduino Nano. So I will simply connect it like this. But make sure that you are using the same pins. Here we have the digital pin number 2. That is connected to the first wire. For me it's the first column. Because I have tested the project. And as you can see these are separated. We have 4 wires which are connected to the four columns. But on the right side, you notice that we have five wires because the keypad that I have comes with five rows. Next, we have the LCD display that we need to connect it to our Arduino board. It's really simple. We connect the GND to the GND, the VCC to the five volt pin. Then we have the SDA that goes to the analog pin A4 and the SDA needs to be connected to the analog pin A5. For that, I'm gonna use these four female to female jumper wires. Now we can move on to the code and program the Arduino to create this calculator. You have to connect it with the USB cable. Let's open up our sketch using the Arduino IDE. On top I have included some libraries that we need for our project, like the keypad library and the liquid crystal I2C to deal with the LCD display. And these libraries are not built in, you have to install them from the library manager. Just search for the names, keypad, and here it is by Mark. We've already installed it in our last episodes. Also, we need the liquid crystal. Then I2C, and it is the first option by Frank. Once you install the libraries, you will be able to upload the code. But first, you need to change some parameters if you want, like the rows and the columns of the keypad that you have. In our case, we are using four rows and uh, four columns. If you want to add some other functionalities, you could use the top one. For that, you have to change the number of rows to five. If you have the same keypad, let's stick with 4. Then we have the keys. The first key is gonna be the number 1, because I have number 1. Make sure to use the same order of the keys that you have. Next, you may need to change the pins that you are using. For my project setup, the rows are connected to the pins number 2, 3, 4 and 5. And the columns are connected to the pins number 9 until number 6. You may need to reverse the order. So if you notice that the keys are not working just fine, to fix that, you need to reverse the order of these pins. For example, you have to start with the pin number 6 and tell the pin number 9. Last but not least, we have created the LCD object that requires few parameters. The first one is the address of the display. For me, it is 0x27. You may need to change it to the address 0x3f. The other two parameters represent the size of the LCD display. The one that I have has 16 columns and we have two rows. In the setup function, we are initializing the LCD object so that we can use it. Then in the loop function, which is called over and over again, we are checking if we have a key using keypad.getKey. That could be one of these options that we have added on top. If we press the number 1, we will get the number 1 as a key. In such case, we need to check if it's the equal sign. That means we have to calculate the result and display it using the LCD display. But if we got the C key, that means we need to clear the display. In such case, we are calling the clear display method. And whenever we press another key, like the number 1 or the plus sign, we need to concatenate it to the input variable. 
And that's the code for our calculator project. Now let's try to upload it to our Arduino board. After selecting the kind of board that you are using and the port of the USB cable. For me it is connected to the COM number 5 and it's an Arduino Nano. If you are using the Arduino Uno, make sure to write the same name and select it. Once you do that, we can hit the upload button. And as you can see it's done uploading. Now we can test it. 5 minus 2. And yeah, the result is 3. As I said, you could improve the project and add other functionalities, like the parentheses. We just need to add another row on top, as well as the pin that is responsible for that row. And you can upload the code and test it again. So if you have any question or comment about this project, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.